Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people, light for the world to see. Christ, be our light. Shine in our heart, shine in the darkness. Christ, be our light. Shine in the church, gather today. Looking for peace, our world is troubled. Looking for hope, many despair. Your word alone has power to save us. Make us your living voice. Christ, be our light. Shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light. Shine in your church, gather today. Longing for food, many are hungry. Longing for water, many still thirst. Make us your bread, broken for others. Shared until all are fed. Christ, be our light. Shine in our heart, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light. Shine in your church, gather today. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, we gather here today on the feast day of St. Vincent de Paul. As we gather here today rejoicing in his wisdom, in his care for souls, in his care for the poor, we gather here today in asking God to open our hearts that we may be more loving, that we may be more caring, that we may be more generous with our time, our talent, and our treasure. Let us pray. O God, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy endowed priest St. Vincent de Paul with apostolic virtues, grant, we pray, that a fire with that same spirit we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives, who reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job opened his mouth and cursed his day. Job spoke out and said, Perish the day on which I was born, the night when they said, The child is a boy. Why did I not perish at birth, come forth from the womb and expire? Or why was I not buried away like an untimely birth, like babes that have never seen the light? Wherefore did the knees receive me, or why did I suck at the breasts? For then I should have laid down and been tranquil had I slept. I should then have been at rest with kings and counselors of the earth, who built where now they are ruins, or with priests, princes who have gold, and filled their houses with silver. There the wicked cease from troubling, there the weary are at rest. Why is life given to the toilers and life to the bitter in spirit? They wait for death and it comes not. They search for it rather than for hidden treasures. Rejoice in it exultantly and are glad when they reach the grave. Those whose path is hidden from them and whom God has hemmed in. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. O Lord my God, by day I cry out, at night I clamor in your presence. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my call for help. Let my prayer come before you, Lord, for my soul is surfeited with troubles, and my life draws near to the netherworld. 
I am numbered with those who go down into the pit. I am a man without strength. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. My couch is among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you render no longer and who are cut off from your care. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. You have plunged me into the bottom of the pit, into the dark abyss. Upon you your wrath lies heavy, and with you all your billows you overwhelm me. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. serve and give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days for Jesus to be taken up were fulfilled, he resoundly determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there, but they would not welcome him, because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples James and John saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Vincent de Paul. Vincent was born in 1581. He desired to become a priest, and he was ordained. And as he first began, he was a priest in parish. He did parish work. And he had this desire. He saw that the poor were not really being taken care of. He noticed that the clergy really weren't very well formed, which means their studies were lacking. And that seemed to distress him. And so he was able to follow, or found, the Congregation of the Missions, which we now call the Vincentians. And in many ways, what they did is that they were responsible for teaching in the seminaries in order to provide a solid foundation for the seminarians before they were ordained priests, and also to have that care and compassion for the poor. You know, most parishes these days have the St. Vincent de Paul Society, where they assist with those who find themselves in need, where they have allow people to come to talk and to offer them financial help, to offer them spiritual help, and offer them ways and connect them to services so that they could get back on their feet. All of this because of Vincent's desire to help the poor and to form the clergy. He also helped St. Louise de Marlac start the Congregation of the Daughters of Charity, which are really like the uh, Vincentians, but the sisters. And so together they all work to, to care for the poor and to love one another. And so today, let us pray for all the Vincentians throughout the world, because they have that great love, that great love of the poor and caring for the face of Christ, seen in those who are down. See those, see the face of Christ in those who struggle, and to bring them dignity and to provide resources for their needs. 
Let us present our needs and those of the world to our most gracious God. For the Church, may the love of Christ strengthen her in her mission of proclaiming the Kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for policymakers. May the spirit of wisdom guide their decision-making. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those whose hearts are burdened by sin and who struggle to trust in God's mercy and forgiveness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for the many Vincentians throughout the world that they may, through the intercession of St. Vincent de Paul, continue to care for the poor and the needy among us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the homebound, may God grant them healing and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may the light of Christ lead them to their eternal home with God in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for your needs, your intentions that we bring to our God today in the very silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Taking all of these prayers, we unite them into one. We lift them up to God our Father, praying just as Jesus taught. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of all life, we trust in your compassion and love for your people. We humbly ask you to listen to our prayers, which we ask in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Longing for shelter, many are homeless. Longing for warmth, many are cold. Make us your building, sheltering others, walls made of living stone. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, Shine in your church, gather today. Many the gifts, many the people, many the hearts that yearn to belong. Let us be servants to one another, making your kingdom come. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine through your church, gather today.